اسعد الله اوقاتكم مشاهدينا الكرام واهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقه جديده مع برنامج رواد الاعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقه نستضيف رجل او سيده اعمال معنا اليوم رائد الاعمال الاستاذ رام شرم كاتيودا من هيرتج اوف نيبال ريستورانت اند كافيه هلا مستر رام هلا نمستي First of all, thank you for being with us in our program. And in the beginning, would you please start telling us more about yourself and about your beginning with your business? Yeah, thank you so much for uh, choosing this Heritage of Nepal to, of course, uh, ABC Arabia channels. And then, uh, of course, thank you for all the leaders who are in this country for supporting all those individuals to come and you know starting the business here. And of course, uh, uh, my family, my team member who works for Heritage of Nepal, and all my mentors, thanking for them for bringing me this opportunity to you know being in this country and then you know. open his first business and then uh, you know serving the the people and community in this country uh, about myself i have um, uh, started hospitality management from 2004 uh, from malaysia from uh, from qatar from uae and then working for a hotel industry for very many years opening a different brand different chains and then uh, the previous to uh, this business i was working for lapita dubai parks and resort as a rooms operation manager so i left the company and then i started own business So about uh, our this heritage of Nepal, uh, we have Diras Hospitality Services. We started after the COVID. Uh, we are basically manpower and then also the, the the all those manpower solution. Uh, you know, so, uh, providing the intensive, even the hiring solution, and also for any uh, casuals based, uh, uh, you know, employee they need. Uh, we are surviving from the heritage uh, from the Diras Hospitality Services, and then and then one of the small section of the Diras Hospitality is the heritage of Nepal. So. Wonderful. So, Mr. Ram, would you please tell us more details about your dishes and meals, and what makes them special and unique? All right. Uh, about the Nepali dishes, we have uh, all kind of Nepali food, starting from uh, thali, which is very famous, uh, typical Nepali meal. All the Nepali who lives in Nepal, they eat, uh, uh, you know, morning, uh, afternoon, and also evening. This is a very typical. Uh, dishes from Nepal, and also we have a lot of traditional, you know, different uh, different part of Nepal where you have a momo. Uh, it's uh, serving chicken. Um, you know, we have a, a, a bof, and also the vegetarians and different kind of momo. Again, chili momos, and all all type of momo we serve here. And also, we have a very typical Newari dishes called uh, Newari Khada set from the the Kathmandu city. So I'm I'm sure the many people who've been to Kathmandu they must try these things you know they have a all kind of uh, you know the nice uh, the food what they make uh, you know all those uh, you know barbecues and then you know the tars there's a different kind of varieties they put together in one plate and then they serve it and then of course uh, there's a lot of uh, the sweets are here shell roti achar there is a, there is a there is a many Uh, you know Nepali dishes we have included in our menu, and then we're trying to introduce this beautiful Nepali dishes into the uh, the country of UAE, and also the people who come to visit in this heritage. Uh, we also serve the people that uh, that's the same food, and then for the drink, of course, we have all kind of uh, Nepali drinks. Uh, you know, yogurts. Uh, we make the nice lassi from the you know the different part of Nepal, and then we have very famous Indrachok lassi also we serve here in the heritage of Nepal. We also got a matka tea, uh, which is very famous. Even people are already coming, uh, you know, then then waiting for a you know few 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 time to you know getting the tea, and then all those uh, you know mocktails, and we also fresh juice um, that we serve freshly here, and then we serve our customer here. Wonderful. So, Mr. Strom, would you please tell us after all this success, what's your future plans and what's your vision for your restaurant? Yeah, we have uh, started this business from uh, beginning of this year. It's not so old, uh, so we want to be unique. We want to be very special. That that's what we are really thinking as a team. So uh, we have a seven Emirates in the country. So we really want to open this heritage of Nepal into seven different Emirates, and we're serving uh, all the people who lives in this country. Uh, you know, starting uh, this is the multi multi multinational country, right? So we have a lot of people are from different country. If they want to try, uh, I can probably say that we have a Nepali you know heritage restaurants in each. Uh, It's uh, still uh, it's uh, I will say about it's uh, um, the the part of UAE. We hope you the best, and we hope to see your places all over the UAE. Thank you so much, Mr. Ram. As a businessman and as a resident here in Dubai, what's your advice for anyone who's interested to start his own business here? 
Uh, of course, it's uh, it's not easy to start a business, right? Uh, and then, like me, I have employed uh, employed by someone for uh, 17, 18 years, so it's really difficult for me to step into this business, right? Of, of course, you need to have a lot of uh, you know plan, mission, vision. You need to have right partners. You need to have right fund in the right location, right? And then you also need to have a, a support from the people who are surrounding you, right? And every individual open the business, you really need to have a plan. You really need to have a you know. Um, you know, let's say critical path. If you are planning to open something, you need to have a, you know every step by step, and then of course you need to have a right people to work for your right company, and then um, of course if you have a strong team, if you have a strong mission, if you have a strong vision, and you know where you are going to head, that's going to help you to, to, to be as strong as can be. At the end, we want to know why you chose UAE and especially Dubai to be your first place to start your business here. Uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, the leaders of the country, they are really supporting the people who are living here. They are very supportive, they are very friendly, and then, you know, they are they are absolutely amazing people to work. And then, as I say, it's a multinational country, and then many people are, you know, visiting this country as part of their dream to be here, right? So then, uh, of course, this is the right place to invest and then, uh, you know, looking for uh, uh, this business in the future, and then even to, to, to you know, to, to grow it better away. At the end, we want to tell everyone watching us now how they can reach and contact with your restaurant. All right, um, this is uh, is uh, it's located in Al Sindaga Heritage Museums. We got a 27 museum within this heritage area, and then uh, to to reach here, we have Al Gubeba Metro, where just just behind the, the heritage site, and also we have Al Gubeba bus station, and also uh, if you are in Marina, or uh, those part of uh, you know, UAE, you can also take the ferry to reach here in the. Um, but Dubai side and then if you reach there just a few minutes walking distance uh, front facing um, in the uh, middle of Al Sindega heritage uh, we have heritage of Nepal and then looking forward to see you here thank you at the end we want to thank you for being with us again and we hope you the best and the whole successful in the future thank you so much for your uh, time and I really appreciate to to welcome you in this uh, beautiful heritage and also showcase about the Nepali heritage and then uh, you know very proud to to represent and thank you so much for your time thank you الى هنا اعزائي المشاهدين نختتم حلقتنا لهذا الاسبوع تابعونا كل جمعه وسبت على قناتكم اي بي سي الخليجيه وعلى مواقع التواصل الاجتماعي دمتم بخير وفي امان الله